I'm gonna do a quick 2023 room update of the turtle room here. Let's we'll start up here on the Spangler Eye. I know I just did a recent video of these guys. And I did switch out those plants, got rid of that ivy. Those are ferns now, they're live. Of course, there's pothos in there too. I'm gonna feed this guy right here. I've actually got them eating pellets now too. I'll actually put pellets in their water dish and I'll put them in the water dish and usually chow them down. Another thing too with my water dishes which I've added are copper pennies. That helps with bacteria. Just gotta remember with the penny trick to use pennies, date, pennies dated pre-1982 does help with that bacteria in there. You still have to change your water out. Feed this one. Oh, it's hardly even noticed her there. again. I did put my divider back in just because I had some space, space issues going on. Other male is this dark one back here. And I'll take these males out. They'll get rotated throughout the female tubs. down here and my sponge filter is running. There's actually three females in this tub. It's a really good characteristic that you can tell the females from the males too. As you can see that real bright peach like face that is a dead giveaway on the females. And you go back up here, Let's see if he pops his head up. See a black face like that. Dead giveaway for spotted turtles. And go over here, start up top. Got a couple female Florida box turtles. Buried down underneath her spot there. On the side here, where I've got their basking area. Got a cuddle bone in there for them. There's another male Florida box turtle right now. I like to add some more live plants in these setups. I'm seeing another one of my setups here. Why I've been a little unsuccessful in these other three Florida box turtle setups. Here I like it with the pathos. Oh, this is kind of growing out of its plant and almost created a barrier. There's another one of my male. Florida box turtles. That's actually my first Florida that I had. Got them as a hatchling. See, every time I had plants, I've tried keeping them even in the pots. 
they just trample them. This one is, <laughs> as you can tell, it's, I've seen better days. That's a live plant there. Again, there's a cuddle going here. This plant has done a little bit better, but it has I can tell that they have trampled on it. It's the biggest male Florida that I have right there. Nothing under there. Nothing under there. There's a female there. They're usually buried down underneath. But I did spray this down earlier, so she might not be. There's a, there's this third one in here too. Uh, third one's actually right there. So that one's usually doing too. <clears throat> down here, got more female spotted turtles. I did add a third one to this tub. One of my juveniles I thought was big enough and old enough to get moved over with the adults. Nesting area there. And down here, I got my spotted uh, hatchling set up. I actually got nine babies in here right now. There's nine babies in the water, and there's actually one that just hatched out, being the the deeper water in about two days with the other ones. They basically sit in like quarter inch of water or so, and they'll be moved over here. My water spangles. So it's on top, it's all live plant that's on top. There's some fake plants that are in there too. You can get a little beta fish in there. You can tell too how many guppies are in there. Some platies in here too. Baby there. Several babies over here. It's hard to find all nine of them at, at once unless I pluck them all one by one. Here's another one coming up right now. This one here's got a really dark shell on top. I have a feeling that the father is probably out of my really dark male that I have. And then, incubator we got. This egg did look infertile to me. The other one did hatch out. We had one hatch out early the, earlier today. That's the one that you saw in that little shallow water. There's another one that's hatching out right now. Should be hatched out in the morning. Here's, an, here's another clutch of eggs. One that started hatching out. I'm back here, I've got some more day gecko eggs incubating. So, so using the Reptubator. And one thing with my hatch rates this year, they've been a lot better than years past. I've actually taken the vermiculite and mixed it with New Zealand sphagnum. And maybe it's just in my head, but it, it sure has seemed to help. I've had babies in the past where they start chipping out and then they, they stop, they die, or I've had them where they die during the incubation process. And then this year, everything that's been fertile has hatched out. This one, obviously I could tell it was infertile from the get go, so it's not gonna hatch out. 
dock this way here. Got my day gecko setup still going. That there looks like it's a female. Yeah, it's a female. Easy way to tell with these day geckos, male and female, is they'll have these little pores that are here. Males will have like little spikes almost all along those back legs all the way up back by the vent here. So, well, spikes all the way up through there. If the male was out, I'd show you him, but I do not see him out anywhere. And if anyone knows anything about day geckos, they, they are not good for handling. Very flighty. So these are all live plants that are in here. Used to have the baby geckos in here. They're not in here anymore. And then I've got my new spotted tank that I set up. I did change some things. I had some log corner pieces that I put in there. It was, the tank was producing a smell very bad smell and I would constantly keep changing out the water every two three days here's the those corner pieces the water they've got little like hole pieces in the decor in the back to allow the water to drain in problem is water gets in there and doesn't get filtered or anything it just sits in there and becomes stagnant so since I've taken care of that water smell has gone away and that is super helpful being that this tank in particular is in one of our living rooms in the house again goldfish won't be staying in here it gets warmer we'll be going outside it is nice though with the goldfish in the tanks because any of that leftover turtle food that's on the top does not sit and get it's all nasty but there's three spotted in here there's one there but all these are um, floating turtle docks I used to have them in my old turtle room back in the old house. And I actually thought about tossing them at one point and I saved them and a good thing I did save them. I don't know if I'll end up keeping these or doing something else in the spring or summer when more stuff to fill the tank becomes available again. I kind of want to set up a tank like this where the day gecko tank is. You know, I really like my bioactive setup, but I, I want more turtles. So, yep, that's video's going on 14 minutes now. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit quicker than that, but just wanted to share uh 20, 23 update here. Thanks for watching.